Wow, a thousand subscribers and 2,000 views. Day one, video one. I really wanted to say thanks to everybody who stopped by and subscribed and watched the video. It I'm really surprised just to see that many people subscribed and really enjoy the video. So I'm going to keep doing them, of course. I'm going to keep continue with the uh, Let's Play of Dark Souls, but I'm not going to do it like every single day. I'm going to try and get one episode out per week so that I can play other stuff too and have fun with making other videos. Today I have Ruoni Kenshin, which uh, I don't know the entire Japanese name for this, but it's a Ruoni Kenshin game that I have for PS2. Unfortunately, my PS2 is having issues more with the, the swap disc because I do have the import, but I am currently playing this on an emulator, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Hopefully it's going to work alright. I do remember playing this years back on the PS2, and I really loved this game. I really enjoyed it, so I decided to go back and revisit it. One of the issues that I had obviously was that I don't read Japanese and I was playing this game it was really hard because I didn't know that you could attune stats to your character and upgrade the stats so I was near the end of the game I got up to like the second to last fight I think and I just couldn't beat it simply because I didn't know about the stats and that was like just hindsight so let's get started here and uh, it's pretty cool because I'm actually using the 360 controller for it but let's get started. I already skipped the first match, which was against the Shinsengumi member. It was a total, uh, it was just a tutorial. It was boring. It wasn't a whole lot of fun to play because I can't read Japanese and couldn't do exactly what it was telling me to do, so I had to keep redoing parts of it. So here I am with the first level of the game that's outside of the tutorial where you got to fight against these 15 dudes here. And, uh, I'm noticing that the camera focus just doesn't work for some reason here. So I gotta like hide them around, and that's the best way to do it. And keep using my special on them. I like the fact that the game actually thought to add in multiple characters in a fight like this, because it kind of feels like a hack and slash, but you can definitely tell that the mechanics are more focusing on the, uh, the single battle aspect of this because I would love to be able to focus my camera right now, but I can't get into Bantu Jutsu mode. That's kind of like a focus here. I also want to try out how this blocking system works, if you can counter anyone. can't actually tell how often you can do your special move here. If you can just keep spamming it over and over or what. Yeah, it looks like you can keep doing it. Makoto Shishio. I did one fight so far outside of the tutorial and we're already looking at Shishio. So you can tell this mostly focuses on the Kyoto arc. Okay, so we're starting on what is the first battle outside of the tutorial. And see, the camera works on this guy. I'm so glad of that. Too bad you can't beat him how he was beaten in the anime by just, like, speeding around the room like this. Whoa. This guy is pretty fast. Whoa. This guy is really fast. I like how they incorporated that into the game. You'd expect him to be really slow, but then again, in the anime, he was really fast too, for somebody of his size. It's difficult to uh, use your special attack and hold the camera at the same time, where your fingers are like split between the buttons. This guy's pretty fast. Oh shit, this guy's fast. All right, there we go.
If I remember correctly, every character that you choose has their own story, and each of the stories are kind of short. So you pick the different characters and play the different stories. I think that's how it works. But I remember, like, really getting frustrated with this guy, so hopefully I can beat him. Because he is fast. And he's, like, slow now compared to how fast he gets. But then again, I know you fight this guy twice. I just remember that. You fight him once, and he breaks your sword, and you gotta come back later and fight him again at the end. You gotta also learn a few new moves, too, so I think that's pretty cool. I don't really like how he's just standing there not attacking you sometimes. Yeah, he's not even trying to hit me here. I know what he wants. He wants this. I gotta beat him in a time, too. Got a hundred more seconds. I know I can do this. Damn, this guy keeps, like, rolling all over the place. Oh, I got him. Okay, so this is the town right here, and it kind of reminds me of Way of the Samurai, where you get all these different locations to go to, and I don't know where to go, so I'm just going to go here, because it's one random place, and I could probably do some side missions or something there. And one major complaint that I have right now is that for some reason, the targeting is not working, even though there's only one guy on screen here. So, they definitely could have had more thought into this. And, I think it's pretty cool that if you remember the story, how his Sakabato breaks. Hopefully that's not spoiling anyone here. But you're actually using your Saya to attack instead of the sword, because it's broken. I'm gonna see what he does if I talk to him again. I'm gonna hit... So I think that's saying yes, and... Okay. It's the same guy, but he has a hat this time. I'm not sure if he gets stronger or what. He's a little bit faster, it seems like. Again, no... Oh, I actually have a focus... No, I don't. Okay, so I'm at what looks to be some sort of shrine, and I can't run. This is pretty annoying, not being able to run. Okay, so you go faster if you jump, it looks like. Okay, I can run now. How come I can... What's the difference between... How come sometimes I can run and sometimes I can't? That's kind of weird. There's nothing here. Oh. What is he gonna tell me? Is he gonna give me the same thing? May as well. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so I guess you gotta fight more people, which... I guess is pretty cool. Give you some more practice, but I still... Still don't like how you can't focus the camera that well. I also think you should have some sort of meter to determine how many times you can use your special attack, because I can sit here and just do this all day. You know, if this is the anime, these guys will be dead by now. Nobody takes this attack twice from Kenjin, even if he is using just his Saya. Alright, what are these guys up to? You about to suck his dick? Man, if you see people behind a shed late at night like this, or... I don't know, man. Don't interrupt him. Especially when he's on his knees like that. I just cock-blocked this dude, and I'm about to fight him. Because I cock-blocked him. He's all angry. He's got his little stick. Like, oh, that's actually a sword. That tiny little sword. I wonder if they make it in men sizes. Does my camera... No. Again, my fucking camera doesn't work. This'll happen. 
Oh, I, I can't use my, uh, my, you know, the, the sheathed attack, I, the Bato Jutsu. I can't use that. Sounds about right because I don't have a, a sword to even use, but... Man, you know Kenshin will make short work of some dude on the side of the road trying to get hit. It should not take this many special attacks. Alright, so... I just cut out about... I would say 30 minutes of footage. It, Yeah, about 30 minutes of footage where I just... Kept doing the same matches over and over, keep getting robbed, running around town wondering what I'm supposed to be doing. And basically the game just works, uh, you meant to do a certain amount of uh, events in between each of the story events, and it's really grindy and repetitive, and I wish it wasn't like that, but it looks like I am actually moving on to something with a bit of substance here, uh, just because uh, Cho has arrived, and it looks like I'm about to fight him, I hope. And uh, let's see where this goes. It took me back to the fucking town again. This is the third time that I've seen some sort of cutscene in between getting sent back to the town. Okay, so it looks like I'm about to start the Cho fight, finally. Let's get this started here. It's so much easier when you can actually focus. And that's actually something people were telling me about my Dark Souls Let's Play, where I didn't focus the camera. And I know that now, so next time, it won't be much of a problem. <laughs> or it might not be. Maybe I'll still die a lot. Who knows? I'm tearing this guy up right now. How come we didn't get a Kenshin versus Saito match? That's what I wonder. I think that might be part of Saito's story. So you beat him, and it wasn't really anything special, but you're getting a... Uh, some points here, so let's distribute some of these. Oh, nice. They have it so that you have to attack him with uh, your bare hands. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's accurate. It's not necessarily that cool, because all you can do are these lunging attacks. So you had to hit him three times with your bare hands, and I got some points for that. Now 40. Sixty.
Okay, so after I did about three rounds where I was up to fighting 60 people at once with the same move over and over again, it's taking me to the next bit of the story where I'm doing my training. And this is where I remember it kind of like spices up a bit when you learn a few new moves for you to repeat over and over again. Alright. Give me some more loading screens. Okay, so I have 60 seconds to fight. Say, Jiro Hiko. Oh, shit. Or maybe I have 60 seconds to survive, because this guy's going to kick my ass. Whoa. Damn. Kick my ass. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. He's waiting for me. Oh, got him. That's how you gotta fight him, just with counters, that's all. Now this is like the first good fight that I've had so far in the game. It actually requires you to think and counter and watch for his opening. Or he's just not going to block like that. I'm not sure what's up with that. And I'm just opening him up every time now. Is he going to attack? seems to get easier as he gets weaker. Or maybe I'm just getting better. The student has surpassed the master. Don't get too cocky here. He's about to kick my ass. I can sense it. He's getting down in the red. Because I, all I know is it takes one combo from him. One good combo and I'm done. Whoa! No, 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 no. <laughs> Almost had me there. Shit! For... It's like you can't hit him when he's down. Good old honorable Kenshin. Not gonna kick anybody when he's down, especially when it's his teacher, mentor, and father figure. Hajime Saito would have been stomping the shit out of him. Okay. That was actually a good fight. That's the, the first good fight I've had so far. It took me a few tries to realize what to do. And that's what happens when you don't have anybody that challenges you up until that point. You just go on button mashing and doing the same thing. And whenever you get a challenging foe like that, then uh, you're not prepared. Let's save here. 80 people? Every time I go back.
So anyways, guys, that is episode one. I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to episode two of this just because episode one was so monotonous and boring doing this. Like, however long the video is for you guys, it is an hour and 40 minutes of raw footage here of me playing. It's not even me losing to these guys either. I lost like two times to Seijiro Hiko, maybe three times, and that's only because he just kills me right out of the gate a few times. But the remainder of it is either me wandering around that empty town or uh, just finding the same group of people over and over. You start off and you find the same cookie cutter guys, one guy at a time. Two guys at a time, three guys at a time, five guys at a time, ten, fifteen, thirty, sixty. The straw that broke the camel's back for me was when I just had to fight eighty people at once. They don't load them all at the same time. They kind of just stand there. They're not challenging you to do anything. You just hit the same button over and over and over, and you attack them with your sword, but it does the same damage as it did when you used just your Saya when your sword was broken. So, uh, as of right now, I just have to say that the game has potential, and I'm expecting that potential to be had with the bosses. We're going to have to see about that whenever I get back around to doing an episode 2, but it is just so grindy and monotonous, I really can't recommend it for anybody yet but uh, if you want to see some more boss battles then stay tuned for episode 2 let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below thank you for watching see you next time